Time for the roll call. Alexander says he supports a debate over the parameters of the program, but he said the leak that exposed it did irreparable damage. We're hoping those they're trying to uncover better avoid detection. Fox News Radio's Mike Mathewitz in Washington. Four U.S. forces were killed when the Bagram Air Base came under attack in southern Afghanistan. Sources tell Fox News the base may have been hit by mortar rounds and that the attack is over. Now, would someone move for approval of the journal? Supervisor Winkle. Motion to approve, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Supervisor Winkle. Supervisor Lemieux. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'll second that motion. Thank you, Supervisor Lemieux. Are there any additions or corrections? All those in favor of approval, press your I button. Opposed, nay. Next, consideration of appointments by the Executive Committee. This is me, right? Correct. Yeah. Uh, to the Finance Committee, George Marthenzi, Law Committee, Faye Uraner, and Human Resources, Faye Uraner. Respectfully submitted this 18th day, June 2013, Executive Committee. Supervisors Testrudi, Gehring, Wagner, Feider, and Marthensi. Supervisor Winkle. Motion approved, Mr. Chairman. Supervisor Gehring. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I will support that motion. Thank you, Supervisor Gehring. Supervisor Baumgart. I had my button on soon, but that's all right, Mr. Chairman. Um, I would uh, uh, request a uh, uh, separate finance uh, vote and uh, the other two uh, positions I don't object to voting. Okay, thank you. That's a um, call for a separation of the question. Uh, any additional comments? Uh, then we will have the first vote. Uh, uh, Supervisor Epping. Thank you, Chairman Distruti. Um, seeing the, the appointment for the committees, I, I reviewed the membership of the other committees on the board. Uh, just, just so you're aware, I, I'm not arguing about any supervisor in particular, but I, I do note that for the executive and the finance committee, it's proposed that there are three supervisors that belong to both committees. Uh, three supervisors on the committee make it uh, a, uh, a, uh, a majority that has a, ha makes for a quorum and and, uh, and can pass whatever uh, issues come before them. And I guess I'm not arguing against any individual supervisor, but I think with 25 supervisors on the county board, that having uh, three of the same supervisors on two of the most powerful committees causes me a little bit of concern. And so I would, uh, like I say, not against anyone in particular, but I would, I would like to see that more supervisors get on these two committees and what are being proposed here. Thank you. Thank you for your comments. Uh, Supervisor Baumgart. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. While I uh, have uh, uh, similar concerns, I, I just think the uh, uh, opportunity for the uh, chair to uh, add diversity was uh, quite wide and open, and I, I think he missed an opportunity, and I'm going to be voting against uh, the uh, uh, candidate. Thank you for those comments. Uh, seeing no lights, all those in favor of the motion? Pardon me. Yeah. Yeah. 
The question is the uh, separation of the question. We'll be voting on each one of the uh, appointments by themselves. Is that correct, Carl? Supervisor Baumgart. I mean, you can do that, Mr. Chairman. My only request was one for the one for the finance. I was not asking for uh, three separate votes, but whatever you do is fine. Thank you. Uh, just a comment from Carl. He said that uh, one one compels the three votes, so that's how we'll handle it. Right now, we're just voting on the appointment of uh, Supervisor Marthensi to the Finance Committee. All those in favor, press your I button. Oppose the name. Appointment is approved 17 to 7. Thank you. The next uh, next vote would be Faye Rayner to the Law Committee. Press your eye button. Oh, pardon me. We have a comment from Supervisor Baumgart. Uh, then, then you can go ahead with the vote. Um, all those in favor, press your I button. Oppose the name. Appointment is approved 23 to 1. And on to the third one, Faye Rayner to the Human Resources Committee. And that appointment is approved 23 to 1. Next, we have consideration of appointments by the county administrator. Uh, Board of Adjustments, Mark Fowler and Jean Blindauer. Supervisor Winkle. Move to approve, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Supervisor Winkle. Supervisor Glavin. Second that motion, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Supervisor Glavin. Seeing no lights, all those in favor, press your I button, oppose the name. Uh, the considerations are approved unanimously. Next, we have a presentation by uh, Ann Wonder Jim, Interim Director, United Way of Sheboygan County. I remembered that the um, door back there does swing, and this is a much smaller group than I remember from about five years ago, the last time I was here before you. So thank you for allowing me to come tonight. I just want to share a little background with you before I uh, do the recognition that I plan to do. Seven years ago, the Sheboygan and Plymouth Area United Way provided $20,000 to Healthy Sheboygan County 2010. That group is now Sheboygan County 2020. And that uh, grant was, uh, um, I guess, began what I would call a passionate uh, process of planning on how to address the health care needs in Sheboygan County. And what they were really looking at was to help families who were struggling to have their uh, oral dental health care needs met, their primary health care needs met, and their behavioral health services met. So I want to fast forward to 2013 and the reason I'm here tonight. Over seven years, the United Way 
merged with Sheboygan Falls and the Sheboygan and Plymouth Area United Way, creating the United Way of Sheboygan County. Healthy Sheboygan County 2010 is now Healthy Sheboygan County 2020, and that initial investment of $20,000 by the United Way resulted in the formation of the Sheboygan Area Community Clinics Incorporated, which you all know is the Lakeshore Community Health Center. And Lakeshore Community Health Center back in 2011 was awarded a federal grant and became a new access point federally qualified health care center. All this was only possible through partnerships and collaborations, and Sheboygan County has been at the table throughout those six years. In addition, we had the Acuity Charitable Foundation at the table, Aurora Healthcare, Purveya Health, St. Nicholas Hospital, Dr. Curtis and Ruby Kellner, and all of you. So, and tonight, I want to recognize each one of you, members of the County Board of Supervisors and also the Sheboygan County Health and Human Services Committee. Thank you for your generous donation of $40,000 to help make the Lakeshore Community Health Center a whole entity and purchase needed equipment for a dental operatory. Your one-time gift helped raise an additional $40,000, which was matched by the Acuity Charitable Foundation. So your $40,000 helped the clinic raise $80,000, and we really appreciate that. As a small token of our appreciation, I have for you tonight, and I'm going to start with the Sheboygan County Board of Supervisors, Roger, Supervisor Distribute. And I'm not allowed to touch these because they can be prints. So, in appreciation of the Sheboygan County Board of Supervisors for your outstanding support of the Lakeshore Community Health Center, presented June 18, 2013. And, Peggy, yes, are you still chair? Okay. <laughs> I did forget to go to the county board website and check, but on behalf of the United Way and the Lakeshore Community Health Center, uh, we would like to present this plaque to Peggy as chair of the Health and Human Services Committee. In light of the event, this is a curse. I would just be hanging out on Craigslist. Or and it is for your outstanding support of the Lakeshore Community Health Center, presented June 18, 2013. Thank you very much. <laughs> Um, it has been a tremendous year, and I just want to share with you today, I got some final numbers for um, the end of May report, and from September 12th of 2012 through May 31st of 2013, approximately 5,000 dental encounters occurred, serving just around 3,000 people, and we have a wait list of 750 individuals for dental services. So. Uh, tremendous need is being addressed, and I just noticed that a number of uh, local um, dentists and uh, dental hygienists and um, dental assistants are volunteering for the um, most recent Mission of Mercy that's coming up. Our dental community truly has been a great support to Lakeshore Community Health Center. We've had a number of um, encounters for our primary health care, and that continues to grow. And the behavioral health program has had about 300 encounters since the beginning of the year. So um, definitely we're at capacity for the building we're in and looking forward to growth and expansion. And you've been a significant part of that, and we really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ann, and on behalf of the um, entire county board and the county, thank you for the award, and um, I had the opportunity to be there at the grand opening over a year ago, and, and some wonderful things happening there. Thank you. Thank you. Are there any public addresses at this time? Uh, there are none. Uh, letters and communications? Uh, there are plenty. I have a resolution from the Outagamie County Board of Supervisors supporting legislation prohibiting entities from foreclosing on property without a recorded interest in that property. That will be received for information? Also from Outagamie County, a uh, resolution opposing all legislative efforts to eliminate or limit the tax-exempt status of municipal bonds. That's referred to the Finance Committee. And, and a third from Outagamie County, Board of Supervisors opposing all legislative efforts to remove local control of the 911 system. That will be referred to the Law Committee. 
I also have a resolution from the Manitowoc and Washera County Boards of Supervisors opposing all efforts of the state legislature to micromanage operations of county government. That's received for information. From the Manitowoc County Board of Supervisors urging the state fund local health departments to continue beach safety testing and notification. That's referred to the Health and Human Services Committee. I have a resolution from the Portage County Board of Supervisors supporting amending state law to permit a multi-vendor student information system for Wisconsin school districts. That's received for information. Uh, from Langlade and Vernon County Boards of Supervisors opposing increasing acreage of alien land ownership. That's referred to the Prey Committee. From the Oconee. Oconto County Board of Supervisors supporting modification of election procedures to allow hand count or use of automatic automated tabulating equipment. Received for information. And finally a resolution from the Oconto County Board of Supervisors opposing set hours for obtaining absentee ballots. Received for information. Are there any announcements sir? That, that's it. Then on to the uh, county administrator's report. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Good evening. Uh, what was it? About two and a half weeks or so ago, we had our 12th or 13th county board leadership forum. It's an annual forum that many of you have participated in for a number of years. And I wanted to acknowledge a few folks as well as just give a snapshot of the feedback that you provided. First and foremost, Kayla Renz, my assistant, does a wonderful job pulling that together and planning for that. Our finance director, Terry Hansen, does a lot of the analysis and prepares the PowerPoint presentation. Corporation Council Carl Bising is always helpful with pulling the agenda together and presenting at that. Uh, Tom Agerbrecht, our Health and Human Services Director, did an excellent job presenting a new proposal that the Health and Human Services Committee just this morning uh, supported and is recommending the addition to our Health and Human Services Department. And I want to thank Tom. I see him here this evening. He's done a wonderful job helping pull that together. Jim Tabeast has been part of that. And certainly Peggy and the Health and Human Services Committee, another collaborative effort that I think is a very serious uh, recommendation and opportunity for improvement. And then, of course, Sheriff Todd Preby was at our leadership forum and talked about combined dispatch and the progress that's been made there and distributed a high-end summary of the timetable and, and all the action steps that are ahead of us. And there's a lot of work to do, but I know Todd is uh, looking forward to bringing that to fruition. You have the evaluation results in front of you, both electronically and hard copy. And I think of the last 12 or 13 years, based on the feedback we received, this may have been perhaps the best leadership forum that we've put together today, based on your feedback. And I also want to acknowledge uh, Vice Chairman Tom Wagner, who suggested that John Hokemer come in. As you can see from the results, John received high marks from you. I thought his presentation was excellent, the information was excellent, and frankly, I got to know him a little bit better as well. And I think he's serving us well at the Wisconsin Counties Association. Uh, your comments, great speaker, super information. Please have him back in the future. So thank you, Tom, for suggesting John. On the county financial results, debt service, and five-year capital plan, of course, Terry took the lead on that. High marks from all of you. And when I say all of you, 22 of the 25 county board supervisors participated in our leadership forum. And I think that reflects very highly on our board and the overall interest and willingness to take the time to, to get together for nearly, what, seven hours or so and, and get a snapshot of where we're at and where we're headed. But uh, good feedback for our finance director, excellent presentation. Glad we captured him from the city of Sheboygan. Uh, very good. So uh, appreciate the feedback and, and the excellent job that Terry did. Uh, Carl and Chairman Testrudi and I provided a little update on roles and responsibilities, best practices, and Carl received a comment of great job. 
So we appreciate the work that he did. Tom Agerbrecht, as I mentioned earlier, high scores for his presentation. And uh, one of the comments, Tom Agerbrecht's presentation was very, very good. And, and Sheriff uh, Todd Creeby also was complimented on the document that he distributed. So nice to see that feedback. We appreciate it. Obviously, there's always room for improvement. And we're always striving to improve that leadership forum and the information provided. But your feedback is appreciated. Uh, I think three guys in a grill once again did a nice job with the meal. The accommodations were wonderful. And uh, was the forum beneficial to you? The last question. Uh, all the scores except for one were very good or excellent. And the, uh, one average. And then uh, comments, great topics, keep it coming. Very, benef very beneficial even for an old goat like me. So I, I don't know who wrote that. But. Uh, it was nice to see the feedback. And the last comment, I think this was the best forum we have had. So very nice. Appreciate that. On the theme of good news and recognizing leadership, I would ask that Peggy Fighter please come forward again if, her, if she's willing and able. Last month, we handed out a number of service award pins. And if the chairman and vice chairman could please join me. Peggy, as you know, is not able to be with us last month, but she's here this evening and, of course, received some well-deserved recognition from the United Way, as did the full county board, and that was nice to see Ann Wonder Jim again. But Peggy, in her short tenure, five years now on the county board, has really made an impact. Uh, Supervisor Peggy Fighter was elected to the county board in 2008 and currently serves on the executive committee and, as Ann now knows, is chairman of the Health and Human Services Committee. Peggy has a particularly strong background and experience with our Health and Human Services Department for prior to her election on the county board, and you may not all be aware of this, but Peggy was one of the three citizen members appointed to the Health and Human Services Committee since 2005. So she's got a background in Health and Human Services, and it shows. She's a strong supporter of the Health and Human Services Department, the programs that we provide, obviously, for the neediest of the needy in our community. She's been an active participant in the Wisconsin County Human Services Association, attending meetings, conferences, working with our legislators, attending meetings with our staff to help raise awareness with our legislators. She also represents Sheboygan County on the Wisconsin Counties Association Ambassador Program, so she's willing to put in the extra time to raise awareness and, and help our legislators understand what's all happening in Sheboygan County and the needs we have. Uh, as you know, the Health and Human Services Committee uh, chairperson fighter, this county board as a whole has so much to be proud of when you look at our Health and Human Services Department. Just remarkable work being done by remarkable individuals. And of late, of course, you're aware that we had a TB outbreak in this community, and there's been information shared with the public on that. And I want to not only recognize Peggy and the, the committee, but Tom Agerbrecht and his staff at that department, an excellent excellent response. I had the opportunity to participate in a number of the meetings where they briefed us on progress and how we're handling that, and just A-plus all around, so that we all can be proud of our Health and Human Services Department. And finally, since 2010, Peggy has also served on the City County Shared Services Committee, most recently as chairperson from 2012 through 2013, when, some people might say finally, uh, she was able to help advocate for and lead, and ultimately this county board approved combined dispatch being brought to fruition. So Peggy, on behalf of Chairman Destruti, Vice Chairman Wagner, and myself, thank you for five years of dedicated service to the people of Chicago. Thank As some of you know, I just returned from a vacation, so I'm feeling refreshed. I was in Canada for a week with my, my son and two other fathers and their boys, and I've been going to Canada since I was 18. I uh, used to go with my buddies and then with family and my daughters, and, and of late it's, it's been a father-son trip, but we just had a... Just a wonderful week, excellent fishing, excellent weather. And when I travel like that, and I don't get a chance to travel as much as some of you in this room, but I tend to you know, look at the community that I'm staying in or the communities I'm going through. And, and though it's tough to beat the fishing in Canada, 
it's sure tough to beat all the good things happening in Sheboygan County. Uh, prior to leaving, I asked my assistant, Kay, to pull some Sheboygan County accolades together because if you walk through our administration building or if you walk through City Hall or if you go on the Sheboygan County Economic Development Corporation website or if you go on our excellent chamber, County Chambers website, you will see a number of these accolades mentioned, though they aren't all pulled together in one place. We now have an excellent website, an improved website, and I thought, you know what, let's include these with pride on our website, and if people want additional information, whether they're looking at tour, uh, coming here for a vacation, or moving, or starting a business here, they can see in a snapshot all the good things happening in our Sheboygan County. So it's good to be back. And before you is a list, and I'm very quickly going to read through this list because though we don't have a lot of press represented this evening, frankly, I think that so many things that happen in this community are, are best kept secrets. You know, I don't think people fully appreciate what we all have going our way here. And certainly when you go to another country or you go to another community, those of us that live here, I think recognize we have a lot going well in Sheboygan County. We have a diverse and strong locally owned companies. And I see the Kohler Company represented this evening. The Kohler Company, Acuity, the list of Johnsonville, the list goes on and on. But the Kohler Company has been tremendous from a standpoint of what it's meant to this community and the people that live in it. Reader's Digest, number one place in America to raise a family. A book entitled, Best Place to Raise Your Family, Top 100 Most Affordable Communities in the U.S. listed Sheboygan as an attractive, clean, and prosperous area with excellent in-town amenities, a close-knit community, and recreational opportunities in town and surrounding countryside. And I would emphasize surrounding countryside because we sure have a lot going, whether it's in Plymouth or Elkhart Lake or the number of beautiful towns in this community. Bloomberg Business Week, Best Place to Raise Your Kids in Wisconsin. Money Magazine, one of the eight best places to retire. Fortune Magazine, home to the number one mid-size company in the U.S. two years in a row. Brookings Institute, ranked the 16th most innovative community in the country. Field and Stream Magazine, top pick in the nation for salmon fishing. Golf Magazine, home to the third best golf course in the world, Whistling Straits. Golf Magazine. Ranked one of the top seven golf destinations in the world. Discovery Channel, one of eight places to surf the perfect wave without an ocean. Travel Wisconsin, Malibu of the Midwest for freshwater surfing on Lake Michigan. Travel Wisconsin, home to the largest gathering of freshwater surfers in the world. The Daily, most equitable community in the United States with the smallest gap between the rich and the poor. City crime rankings, ranked in the top three safest metropolitan areas in America. One of only four Olympic sailing centers in America. Of course, the Bratwurst capital of America. World, excuse me, pardon me, in the world. We just invested $100 million to restore and clean up and add depth to our Sheboygan River and Harbor. And we're starting to see increasing articles about what that's going to mean for economic development in the area, in the region, and some of it's underway. It's just fantastic. Aaron Brault's here this evening. Aaron Brault, the planning department, has been doing a superb job implementing our non-motorized transportation program. Absolutely superb. One of four communities in the nation selected for this funding and this opportunity. Fantastic. Home to the tallest wooden observation tower in the state. If you haven't been out to the marsh lately, you got to get out there and raise that. Jim Baumgart and others participated on the Friends of Sheboygan County Marsh and did a wonderful job getting that in place. Of course, Sheboygan County has a strong fiscal track record, and you're the only county board in the state that's reduced property taxes for the last six years. We have a county in-health clinic partnership with the city of Sheboygan School District. Sheboygan County was recipient of the FA 2009 Wisconsin Good Government Award. We have a rail line now linking Plymouth and Sheboygan, being reactiva reactivated to improve our community's economic diversity. 
construction began in June 2013 to turn, to turn the abandoned Union Pacific Rail Corridor running through the heart of Sheboygan into a 1.7 mile non-motorized trail. And Aaron just hosted with some of his staff uh, a groundbreaking couple weeks ago and well attended. Congressman Petri was there and many legislators and a shout out to Congressman Petri and his staff. Uh, just wonderful support for that non-motorized program and the funding we received. It wouldn't have happened without his leadership and support. We have a state-of-the-art UW Sheboygan facility. I don't know about you, but I often run into people who say that we have the best two-year UW campus in the state. The Acuity Technology Center, of course, is beautiful. The science labs, the board has continued to be proactive when we're looking at a new engineering department. And of course, the library recently, out of 2,500 libraries across Wisconsin, received the Library of the Year Award. And then finally, we've got some wonderful award-winning school districts in Sheboygan County, whether it's the city of Sheboygan or Plymouth, but throughout we just have excellent schools, strong administrators, wonderful teachers. We have so much to be proud of, and it's good to be home. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Adam, for that report. Next consideration of committee reports, first from the executive committee. We, the Executive Committee, herewith submit a summary of payments for per diem for county board members for the period commencing April 18th, 2012 through April 15th, 2013. Grand total of meetings, 1,805, with a total per diem earned 40,400, respectfully submitted this 18th day of June, 2013. Um, Supervisors Testrudi, Gehring, Marthenzi, Wegner, and Fighter. Additionally, attached to that is the per diem payment history going back to 2008-9 board year. Supervisor Gehring. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I would move to accept the report. Thank you, Supervisor Gehring. Supervisor Marthenzi. Second motion. Thank you, Supervisor Marthenzi. All those in favor, press your I button, oppose the nay. Motion is approved unanimously. Next, ordinance number two. Regarding redesignation of navigable waterways and shoreland floodplain ordinance, I have considered the same and recommend the ordinance be enacted. Respectfully submitted this 18th day of June, 2013. Concurring in the report, Supervisors Testrudi, Wagner, Gehring, Fighter, and Marthenzi. Supervisor OJ. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I move to enact ordinance number two. Thank you, Supervisor OJ. Supervisor Marthenzi. The second motion. Thank you, Supervisor Marthenzi. Any comments or questions? All those in favor, press your I button. Oppose the name. Motions approved unanimously. Ordinance number three. Regarding amending shoreland ordinance in sections 11 and 14, Town of Wilson. I have considered the same and recommend the ordinance be enacted. Respectfully submitted this 18th day of June, 2013. Concurring in the report, Supervisors Testrudi, Wagner, Gehring, Fighter, and Marthenzi. Supervisor Gehring. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I move to enact the report. Supervisor Fighter. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'll second the motion to approve ordinance number three. Thank you, Supervisor Fighter. Supervisor Baumgart. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. I, I have no uh, objection. I'm on the committee that uh, reviews this uh, to uh, uh, amending the shoreline uh, ordinance in section 11 and 14. Uh, but I'm going to abstain uh, because uh, outside of this issue, there is an issue of, of uh, traffic that uh, uh, I think will endanger the health and well-being of those people using the state park and the potential increase in uh, traffic uh, because of um, somewhat trying to modify the uh, concerns of other uh, residents. And uh, I just have a fear that we're going to move into a 
area that at peak part time when we have 640,000 people that come to uh, uh, Terry Andrew Kohler Park and uh, 60 uh, 6,400 campers or some large number during the peak uh, time that uh, uh, at the same time they're going to be having camping out there coming out of the uh, park in an area right near the uh, uh, area that uh, people register I think is uh, uh, asking for some uh, uh, difficulties and potential danger that I'm going to abstain because I think there is a real potential problem. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you for those comments. Supervisor Huffman. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I too will abstain in that I'm on the Tana Wilson board and we will be looking at this in the near future. So I, I will abstain. Thank you. Thank you, Supervisor Huffman. Any other comments? Seeing none, all those in favor, press your I button, oppose the name. Motion is approved, 22 ayes and two abstains. Consideration of committee reports from the Health and Human Services Committee. Resolution number four regarding authorizing and directing the Finance Committee and Finance Director to transfer fund balance from Health and Human Services to Capital Project Fund Balance. I have considered this same and recommend resolution be adopted. Respectfully submitted this 18th day of June 2013. Concurring in the report, Supervisors Feider, Wheeler, Koch, Hoffman, Otten, and Van Dixhorn. Supervisor Feider. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'll move for adoption of resolution number four. Thank you, Supervisor Feider. Supervisor Otten. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'll second that motion. Thank you, Supervisor Otten. All those in favor, press your I button, oppose the name. Motion is approved unanimously. Thank you. I'll pass the gavel to Vice Chairman Wagner. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, resolutions to be introduced. Resolution number five. Number five. That's the correct one. Authorizing application. Regarding authorizing application for 2013 Justice Assistance Grant Program Award and entering into Memorandum of Understanding with the City of Sheboygan. This will be referred to finance, but uh, Supervisor Winkle. Mr. Vice Chairman, I would move to pull for immediate consideration. Thank you, Supervisor Winkle. Supervisor OJ. Mr. Vice Chairman, I'll second that motion. Thank you, Supervisor OJ. All those in favor? Supervisor Epping. Thank you, Vice Chairman. I'd like to just mention in regards to this uh, application for the grant program, this is a time sensitive thing. The reason it's being pulled is because of that. This is a grant that is shared by the county and, and the city and is used for purchase of law enforcement equipment. So I would hardly encourage passage of this. Thank you for those comments. Supervisor Epping, no other lights. All those in favor for pulling, please vote aye or nay. Good minor league baseball town, too, way back when Houston was in the Texas League. 
All right. Motion is approved unanimously. Okay, now on the original resolution, uh, number five. Supervisor Winkle. Motion to adopt. Thank you, Supervisor Winkle. Supervisor Gehring. I will second that motion. Thank you, Supervisor Gehring. Any discussion? Supervisor Gehring. Thank you, Mr. Vice Chairman. Obviously, I'm not opposed to this, but I just have a question. Unless my memory fails me, the last three years we've had to pull the same thing. Is it that the applications come out so late that we don't have sufficient time to bring it before the board, or, or what is it? You would think that if it's a recurring grant, we would have sufficient time to actually refer it. Sometime. Thank you. Thank you for that question. Your memory sounds sounds similar to mine, but I don't know the answer. Supervisor Winkle. That is absolutely correct. It's uh, the Justice Department sends these out. Time is of the essence. They actually give us, I think, one month. I, I believe that's what Mr. Steiner told us. Thank you, Supervisor Winkle. Once again. <laughs> Any other questions? If not, we'll vote on the original resolution. All those in favor, vote aye. Those those opposed, nay. Motion is approved unanimously. Thank you. Ordinances to be introduced. Ordinance number four. Uh, regarding correcting technical errors in the code. That will be referred to the law committee. Ordinance number five. Regarding amending county employee grievance procedure. That will be referred to the executive committee. Supervisor Bemis. I move we adjourn. Thank you, Supervisor Bemis. Supervisor Winkle. Second. Thank you, Supervisor Winkle. All those in favor of adjourning, vote aye, please. Motion to adjourn is approved unanimously.